Favourite game of the year? Of 2017? What was mine? That is the weirdest way to introduce this video. I honestly, I was a little busy during 2017, and so didn't get much gaming done. Having said that, I did play 60 games of FIFA with my housemate. In like two weeks. After our dissertation was handed in. But apart from that, I didn't get much time to game. With that said, doesn't mean I didn't have a favourite game of 2017. And no, it wasn't FIFA. Although that is highly commended, it was great fun. I love FIFA so much. I rarely play it alone, but uh, you know, with friends, not much, not many better games to play with a group of friends than, than FIFA. It's great fun, good competitions, very accessible, and just marvellous. Great game. Speaking of playing games with friends, uh, another game I, I want to mention, but not, is my favourite, is Mario Kart Wii, in particular the Wii one. So much fun, just childhood enjoyment. It's wonderful to play, and again, great to play with friends. Endless hours of fun, without a doubt. And uh, myself and my two housemates, we've pretty much completed, <laughs> we've, we've done a lot of single player ones, and so we play the cup, and then we each do one of the races, and whoever got their best, whoever got the best position in their race played the fourth race, and so we've basically completed the game on single player and unlocked all the cars and characters and stuff, so it's so much fun to play as a group or as two, uh, and even when you're 20, 25, it's, it's still such a fun, fun game. Also, before I go on to my favourite game of the year, I want to shout out uh, Injustice, the iPad app. It's one of those games where it sort of came out to help promote Injustice, the console game, but I never bought a console game, but I loved the app. It's sort of like a Mortal Kombat Tekken style of fighting. I play on my iPad, I've been playing it for years, I've played it a lot this year as well. It's sort of, I still haven't much time to game, I'm talking about all the times I've been gaming. Um, I played it a lot this year on holiday and just in the car with an iPad. And they do it well because it's completely free and it's you can play it for free if that makes sense. There are in-game purchases you can purchase, but your development through the game isn't hindered much. Obviously, you know, it is slightly hindered by not buying stuff. Also, even though it is free, there's no ads in it, so the entire thing is pretty much adless. So that's another honourable mention. But my favourite game of the year is one of those games, it's a PS3 game actually, and I've, I've had the PS3 with me here at university so I've got back into it and I'm so close to completing it that uh, it's, I'm, I'm at that point where the only few events I haven't completed are painfully difficult and so I'm sort of just working on them but I love it so much and replaying it reminded me how much fun it is so my favourite game of 2017 actually goes to Burnout Paradise. Hands down, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best driving game ever. It's so much fun. They get the physics just right, that makes sense. So I can't stand those driving games that are really, are really realistic and you've got to brake and change gear to go around a corner or the car just kind of, you don't really control and just crash into that. I don't want that. I don't want to be crashing into other cars, doing barrel rolls and everything, and Burnout Paradise nails all of that. It's so much fun to play, the road rage is a great fun, I love the, the map and how it's free roaming, it's just a wonderful, great fun game to play. Uh, and unlike a lot of the other games I just mentioned, very easy to play it by yourself, in fact I think it's easier just to play it. It's a very much a solo game, uh, when I play it in particular, I just love going around, having a drive, it's a nice stress release as well, it's like, it's like actually driving but without having to pay for petrol or have a license and I can't do a barrel roll in the Hyundai, Hyundai i10 I drive. Uh, great fun, love it so much, gotten back into it this year, hopefully going to finish it soon and I, again I'd recommend it. It actually recently, very recently, got fully remastered in 4K 60 frames a second. Now, again, if I didn't have to restart from the very beginning, I might actually consider buying that, but I'm very happy just on PS3, playing with it. It's so fun. I love it so much. And it was my favourite game of 2017. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed me talking about my favourite games of 2017. And what were some of your favourite games of 2017? I am hopefully going to have a bit more time in 2018 to play games, particularly if I'm unemployed. Let me know. Comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.